wanted to walk them through the whole midnight madness, the big blue madness, what we were going to go through and what we were going to do. Take your other hand, reach over your head, lift your ear. Let go of it, and you'll feel it expand. When you start to feel it expand, let go of your ear. I think you stuck in my hand. You want to get a string, I'm going to pull it out. Wear these the whole time you're back there going up and down the list. There are percussion grenades. They will explode. They're going to be very loud. Part of it was having them raised up. Guys were scared to death. When I put you in that lift, except these first four guys. You're gonna go up. <laughs> and stop just below the top of that board. <laughs> you don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Alright, who's next? <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta climb in. Because this is how it's gonna be done tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Part of it was how they'd walk on the stage so that there was no no scrubs because again there's going to be 19, 20,000 people there watching them. And uh, I didn't want anybody scarred for life because of doing something dumb and that's why we walked through. Nothing like it, just the atmosphere and just how fun the fans were. I mean, every year is great, but this year we had a lot going on. We had the new freshman coming in. I guess a lot of like the scissor lift, I guess it was called. And that was something totally different, you know. I don't think any of us have ever experienced anything like that. And, uh, some, of, some of the guys were pretty afraid. I mean, you saw DeMarcus whenever uh, he went up there, he didn't even move. He was like a statue. So I think some of the guys were still afraid. I mean, we, there were rumors that Jerk was coming and uh, we didn't know if he was performing or not, which he didn't. But I mean, it was really cool meeting him and everything and meeting Tayshawn. Honored to be here. Uh, you, guys, you guys have something ahead of you that would be very phenomenal. In the case of Tayshawn, you know, you're talking about one of the great players to play here. A player who took this program to a level. And now he goes on to win world championships and be an integral player. Without him, Detroit does not win. And Drake, it was a young guy from Canada who was told he can't, he's not, he won't. And you know what? He said he came in and said, I work at it every day. I didn't listen to anybody tell me I couldn't. I did it because I wanted to do it and I wanted to be special and I was willing to spend the time and do it. And it was a great message for our guys. Plus, he's pretty popular with the guys. I mean, there was a lot of expectations for it and it, it met every expectation they had. So, I mean, it was awesome. The introduction was great. 